Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, October, November, December, 2020 edition. It's Monday, November 23rd. Today's reading comes from 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 8 through 13. Today I am so grateful to be reminded of all the beauty in the world by the many talented artists who help us see beauty in things we may not have otherwise noticed. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David, that is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Amen. Monday, November 23rd. A teenager I'll call Kathy had been born with a deformed spine and endured many surgeries to correct it. I visited her in the hospital the day after they placed her in a striker frame. Her body immobilized, so all she could do was look straight up. She smiled as she saw me and said, I'm okay, Pastor. How are you? All my problems seem to pale in comparison. We often take God's faithfulness for granted, but the writer to Timothy relies on it to endure the pain he faces as part of his commitment to Jesus. He accepts God's grace as sufficient and trust God's faithful presence to sustain him. Indeed, even when our faith waffles, Christ remains faithful to us and on behalf of us to God his Father. A person with paraplegia told me as he lay dying, I'm looking forward to walking again. We too look forward to the day when all the wrongs will be corrected and every heart will be healed. In the meantime, Christ promises to walk faithfully with us through it all. Strengthen my faith.